Today, I will be talking about Fairchild State Park, near the city of Donaldsonville in Seminole County. Fairchild State Park was named after nearby community of Fairchild. The community is believed to be named one of the area's earliest settlers, a mystery Fairchild. About 1947, construction began on the Jim Woodruff Dam on the Florida Georgia border. It was built at the point where the Chattahoochee and Flint Rivers merge to become the Apalachicola River. The dam was completed in 1952, and the reservoir it created became known as the Jim Woodruff Reservoir. In 1956, a state park was established on the lake, called Marvin Griffin State Park, and was whites only. It was renamed Seminole State Park in 1960. In order to provide a park for African Americans in the area, Fairchild State Park was built in 1961. The park was on the Jim Woodruff Reservoir, and was a total of 309 acres. The park later shrunk to 255 acres. After opening, the park offered camping, swimming, and picnic shelters. The park didn't appear in newspapers until 1970 during, when it made national news. In May of 1970 during, prisoners escaped from Maryland State Prison. Hoping to get to Florida, they came through the Fairchild State Park area. They found the all-day family farm, which boarded the park. The escaped convicts found six members of the all-day family preparing a trailer, and killed them all. Known as the all-day murders, the event is the largest mass murder in Georgia's history since 1887. The road leading to Fairchild State Park was renamed Ned All-Day River Road, after the family's patriarch. Due to budget cuts in 1975, Fairchild State Park was closed. I've not found who runs the park today, but the park's boat launch is still open to the public. Thank you.